Hi! In this video, I'm going to talk about how much we spend in a month living here in Malaysia. I've been keeping a record for 10 months since we got here. So let's get right into it. We're a family of four and this excludes the tuition for the international school that my children go to. All began with the fixed cost for basic necessities. So we spend the, the biggest amount on rent and we pay 2,600 ringgit per month. We live in a 1,200 square feet three bedroom condo. It's actually twice the size of the apartment that we used to live in Tokyo, so it feels very spacious. I really like the fact that you can find condos that are fully furnished here so that you don't have to buy all the furniture and appliances. Okay, so on to the food expenses, which also make up a big part of our budget. On average, we spend somewhere around 2,300 ringgits or so. I often buy Japanese groceries, so that increases our food budget a little bit. Prices on food is almost the same here as in Japan. Even more expensive on certain things have, such as dairy products. And although Malaysia is not bad in terms of inflation compared to other countries, people around me do say that the prices are going steadily up, such as hawker foods. By the way, a few of the things that I feel is significantly cheaper here in, in, in Japan are the tropical fruit, rice, and wheat, which is about half the price I would pay in Japan. On the other hand, the price of alcohol is very expensive due to the high tax, so you need to be careful when you eat out because the bill is usually going to spike up if you drink. Now, the amount of money we spend for eating out is around 400 ringgit per month and half of it for school lunch. We sometimes eat out with friends, but not a lot because for me, it's easier to cook at home. Next category is utility bills, which cost 290 ringgit per month. I pay 100 for internet, Wi-Fi, the provider I subscribe to is Time, and 50 for mobile, and I use Hotlink 6 Mbps plan with unlimited local phone calls. I don't have any uh, problem with the speed and connection for either one of them. For mobile, I once tried 3 Mbps plan for 40 ringgit per month, but that was a little bit slow and sometimes I couldn't receive emails outside, so now I always do 6 Mbps plan uh, internet passes. As for electricity, I pay around 120 ringgit every month. I was surprised at first that we don't have to use aircon during daytime here. We only turn it on when we sleep at night. For water and gas, it's about 20 ringgit per month, which I think is very affordable. The next is commodities, and on average, we spend about 1,200 ringgits per month. The stuff that we buy are like electronic devices, clothing, household consumables like shower hose, uh, and birthday presents, stationery, etc. The reason why it's a bit high is because my laptop, laptop that I brought from Japan just broke and uh, repairing wasn't very affordable so I had to replace it with a new one which kind of raised the overall cost. On to the transportation. I don't drive, I only use Grab and that costs around 300 ringgit per month. It's really convenient but I think the price is going up for Grab as well. The next one is medical expenses, which we spend about 450 ringgit per month. Out of that 450, 280 is for insurance that we pay yearly, and the 170 is for the actual medical fee. Next is Japanese education, that's 1,200 ringgit per month. My two older kids take online classes to kind of keep up with Japanese studies and this costs quite a bit, but it is something most Japanese expats with kids do to prevent the kids from completely forgetting their native language. So, these are all the fixed costs and it adds up to 8,740 ringgit. Now, on to the variable costs. We sometimes travel and that's a big cost, but it doesn't happen often so I'm going to exclude it today which only leaves two more categories and the first one is entertainment which is about 200 ringgit per month those are books going out with friends etc and the second one is subscription and that is also about 200 ringgit this is for shutterstock website which i download the images from plus japan club monthly membership fee 
So the sum of these costs is 400 ringgit, and that brings the grand total of 9,140 ringgit. That's equivalent to about 2,000 US dollars. So that's it. I think the overall amount of money we spend here is not very different from what we used to spend in Japan due to the currency rate and inflation. But I like the fact that uh, we don't have to spend much on clothes since we don't have to trans uh, transition from season to season. And we also love tropical food, so we buy it quite often. Well, that's our monthly budget, and I hope it was somewhat useful. Please subscribe if you like the content, and hope to see you in the next video. Bye!